Spotify is a completely free Blender add-on to be used even in commercial projects. It's really easy to use once you have all modules placed into collections. Just extrude, copy and paste faces and buildings will be generated automatically. In modular approach, use pre-made node groups to make large variety of architectural styles to fit your needs. So now let's see how we can download and get started with Buildify add-on. So once you open the link which is found in the description below, it will open the, this window for you. So this is the build, Buildify 1.0 add-on which is free. So you can ask for it, uh, it's available for free and Pavel Oliva is the creator of this add-on so don't forget to give him some credit. So it's recommended to use Blender version 3.0, 3.2 I mean, so at least it should be uh, 3.2 older versions are not supported so i'm currently using blender 3.6 uh, i've tested it it works fine on 3.6 so make sure uh, you are using 3.2 or the uh, latest ones so that's all here so once uh, you get that we can proceed to the blender uh, directly we can go to the blender now so after you downloaded the buildify add-on on your pc yeah you can just open it uh, by opening first the blender so this add-on is a blend file so you can just file and then uh, open and you can uh, search for uh, the place you saved on your PC. So uh, I'll open mine. Uh, I've, I just opened it recently, so I'll open this one. So this is a blend file. It's a buildify 1.0. So the first time you open it, this is what it looks like. Here there are some uh, settings for it. So we can go here, uh, we can add our own workspace, general, and then layouts. I want to view the building only for now. Now we have uh, our own building. So uh, this add-on can display many details of the buildings from uh, different sides so to get those details we can go up here and check the cavity option so you can see when i turn on the cavity more details are being added also uh, the type we can change this to boss so now if i zoom in if you want to see how detailed it is you can see now all the windows the doors are now they have uh, details also the ac system the air conditioning system you can see it's a detailed model and we have a satellite receiver here and we have a blender logo here you can see the door the entrance it has different doors at uh, on all the sides yeah this is another blender logo also so pretty much everything is very detailed okay let me see what's going on here yeah also some ac systems up here and some antennas 
so it's a neat uh, model all right so the most impressive thing i found is when you select this and go to the range sign the modifiers you'll have various options to change the parameters and obtain various results uh, the most obvious one let me select again you can uh, vary the number of floors the minimum number of floors and the maximum number of floors currently it's set at seven let me increase this value you see when i increase the number of floors this one automatically adds it so this will save you a lot of time if you are uh, creating this for games or other visualization stuff you can create your own city using this one let me say this this one and then yeah so this is pretty interesting another uh, thing we can do also is we can select it and shift d to duplicate then we can move it like this yeah now we have two buildings so we can duplicate this as many times as we want and then you can create your own uh, urban city setting let me reduce the number of floors now this is a short building okay i will duplicate this again maybe i'll move it here maybe i'll increase the floors okay. now this one oh this one is very tall yeah yeah so now i have one tall building one uh, small building and one medium height building so this way you can create various buildings within seconds not even minutes so this is really impressive you may find this really useful but this is not all there is also another interesting fact for instance let me select let me see which one should i let me select this building and then if you come over here you can see the tv sign which which uh, displays real time display modifier in viewport so if you uncheck this uh, you'll uh, be left with the floor plan of the model so if we go to the edit mode now you can manipulate the faces the edges and the points so let me go to the line selection mode and i want to select this part and i can extrude this and if i turn on the design you see now the building has been automatically modified I can select this and extrude it along the Y. Let's see. Now let's see how the building shape changes. You see now we have we are created a different view. And we can select the the line from this uh, view also like this now this this part is selected if i turn off this you can see that this has been selected 
and I can change the shape while I'm on this view like uh, let me resize this by pressing S and I can scale down this one now you see now we are having another another shape also now and let me select this one and we can extrude this also let me Now I extruded this this way. So now I'm I created another uh, shape. Yeah. So pretty much uh, that's that's uh, what you can do. So this way you can create your own building buildings with the uh, shapes that uh, you want to create and you can create as many buildings as you want in within seconds or minutes so this might be useful for various applications like uh, game, game development or urban city visualization things like that yeah so uh, guys you can use uh, buildify 1.0 add-on and don't forget to give credits to the author of this add-on and uh, that's it for today if you like the video please make sure to like and subscribe the channel i'll see you next time with another blender tutorial thank you for watching take care